What's up guys, it's Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater and we're out here in Prosper, Texas. We're doing a mantle mount above a stone fireplace here, as you can see. Zach's fishing the lines. Stone's never easy, but you called the right people, Dream Media's here. We're gonna be using a few key items. Q7F from Samsung, very popular TV, 75 inches, as well as the mantle mount MM700, excellent. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna be running the wires up the wall, stone fireplace, about 16 feet high, and up and down through a Smurf tube that comes down here. We're gonna keep you updated, guys, with the progress. So, Smurf tubes from up here to down here is 18 feet, and uh, fortunately, the one connect cable is only 15 feet. So, we're gonna do a little masonry here, and we're gonna just hit out this mortar and uh, run the cable directly to it so that way we have enough slack uh, and the customer doesn't have to buy another 50 foot or something from Samsung for another $200 and uh, we're going to show you how to do it. Alright guys, so we popped this out but about 10% through this fell on me. Um, they didn't use enough mortar. But uh, we got this clean, shoved out, popped out and we're going to drill through and up. shoot the fish rod up and catch it. All right, guys, so I'm going to drill a hole here so we can uh, slither up the uh, one connect cable. And we're just going to pop it out a little bit. And then we're going to, it's so slim that we can just put this rock back in place. So uh, watch me. This is all just drywall and mortar, so it's really easy to get through. This home was probably built this year or last year, so it's all dead space behind the fireplace. So it's really easy to shoot a fish rod up there. All right, guys, so shot the fish rod down here. Try to get it as close to the corner as possible here. Just got it through. All right, guys, we just got the fish rod shot down here, and now we're gonna go and tape the one connect cable to it and get it fished down here and replace the stone. So it looks all nice and tidy and put a pass-through plate up there as well. Stay tuned. All right guys, next step is putting the back bracket on the back of the TV. So you just find the screw that fits the bracket properly, or the TV rather, which should be these. And start screwing away. Alright guys, so we did some calculations that you can find here in the instructions, but um, basically what we did was we measured from the bottom here, since there is no mantle we're using, from the bottom of the TV to the bottom of this, which was 9 inches, and then since we don't have the center speaker right now, we just added an additional 3 inches of give or wiggle room, so we want the bottom of the TV to sit right here. So what we did was we measured 9 plus 3, so 12 inches to here. And that is going to be where the bottom of the uh, mount is going to be. So it's going to sit perfectly over our outlets and it's going to hide all of the wires. As well as we're going to pop this brick out here. And we believe the stud is right here, but we're not totally sure. So we're going to pop it out and just get a complete uh, verification and make sure we're getting into the wood stud so this sucker doesn't come down. so that we know where exactly to drill. And we have it leveled, and we've already removed the brick and found where this stud is. So we're actually gonna pop this brick back in. And uh, follow us along, we're almost done here. All right guys, we put our bracket up there and we've outlined where we're going to put our pilot holes. And we found our stud here. So the next thing we're gonna do is drill. This is the fun part. So much fun. <laughs> All right guys, so we've already got our pilot hole drilled for the bottom left, bottom right, and we're starting on the top left and right. 
uh, so that we can get them right into the studs all good and clean. We're gonna actually put this brick back here because we don't need it. We were just using it so we could see where the stud was. All right guys, so we already got two of our lags drilled in, top ones. Um, the reason we're using these is because they're very long and we can keep the stone in here while also going all the way through the stud and it's completely braced and this TV is not gonna fall down. We can sleep well at night. We already got our pilot holes drilled. So we'll just take this bad boy. And it's going through the stone and in, into those wood beams behind it. As you can tell by the torque and the hammer drill. All right guys, we got the back bracket up here and now we're putting the lock screws in to hold the hydraulic part of the mount to the back bracket. So, for this part of the video, just to make life a little easier, we pull this down and stick the lock rod through it so we don't have to attempt to mount it from such a high point. And it, luckily, I'm the one doing this because I'm incredibly strong and fit and adept for this type of activity. So that's, a, that's how you do it. And then this goes on here. A lot of moving parts of this. And it's, and it's backwards. So, like that. You put another set of lock screws in here. And then the mount that's on the back of the TV sits right on that. And then you lock them into that. Alright guys, so we got the plastic plates on here to cover the uh, drill holes on the back. And we got our zip ties here. You get the wires fed through there. Make it all nice and clean for when the mantle mount's being pulled down. And next we're going to put the TV on this bracket and then put the secure bolts in the back. gives you the nice option to watch at an eye level opposed to being up, up in the sky and breaking your neck. You can leave it up here for when you're entertaining and pull it down when you're just, you know, lackadaisical around the house. Also has a little bit of turn to it. Like this. And then we'll put it back up. Terminated all of our wires over here. We actually brought the um, one connect cord through the stone fireplace on the side here because it wasn't long enough to reach. This is how the customer wanted us to do it. Leave these off because he's going to hook up his uh, AV receiver when he gets a center speaker and whatnot. All right, guys, you follow me. We did some other things while we were here. Mounted some other TVs for him. In the master bedroom, got a nice clean. Low mount for him. Tilt mount. Pre wired here. We got a couple more rooms. These guys are lucky they have a workout room and they have a uh, TV in their workout room. What goes better than some mindless television with your workout? Because who wants to work out? <laughs> But we did the same in here, tilt mount. We got all the wires concealed behind it with the cable box. Uh, a lot of wires behind. And it actually has one of the access points from AT&T. I think it came out good. 
And then here guys, this is like your little movie room. We got a nice no gap wall mount on the Samsung Q series TV, customer supplied, very flush. We got the um, full motion TV mounted on the wall here, catty corner. So, you know, you get bored doing all your office work, you just lay back and you watch the football game. <laughs> Come on. We got all the wires concealed back behind here. Nice and clean. Got it surge protected as well. This is an echo mount. It was a customer supply. Came out good. As always, because they hired the Dream Team. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media Home Dream. Theater. We hope that you found this video informative. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Keep in mind, if you would like to purchase one of these televisions, we have all the top manufacturers to choose from. Sony, LG, Samsung, just to name a few. We also have you covered on projectors, speakers, amplifiers. We have it all with low price guarantee, nationwide free shipping. Now, if you guys would like us to do something like this for you and you live in the Dallas area, give us a call or shoot us a text. Make sure to give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching. This is Zach. Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. Or email if you need. All right, just start over. You had it there.